Hey guys, this is Steve with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Tonight I'm publishing a pattern that has 26 uh, initial letters in it that you'll be able to add your name to. And what this video is about is how to add the name to the letters. We're going to use a free program called Inkscape and uh, I'll link to that in the description below. I will also link to the pattern. If you're watching this on YouTube, in the description below, you'll see a link to download the uh, pattern with these 26 letters. So anyway, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add names to these letters. Once you download the pattern, it will download as a PDF. You can open up Inkscape, and again, Inkscape is a free vector graphics program uh, that's a little bit uh, challenging to learn to use but with just a little bit of effort you can. Now in this tutorial I'm not going to give you uh, much detail. I'm going to give you the overview of what it takes to add names to this uh, because it, it would take too long to actually go through all the details on this. But you'll, you'll get the idea of what I'm doing and uh, maybe you'll want to jump in and give this a try. So we've got Inkscape open. I'm going to do File, Import, now the pattern uh, that you'll download from the link is a PDF. And when we open import that PDF into Inkscape, it comes up with the PDF import settings and it's showing the cover page of the pattern. Over here on the select page, we're going to scroll until we find the initial that we want to use to add our name to. In this case, I'm going to use a K because that's the first letter of my daughter's name. We can import it by clicking OK, and now we've got our K, and you can see we've got our blank space for the name. I'm going to center this up on the page. Now, you can use any font that you want, but generally you want a fairly thick font uh, and something that will be all uppercase so it'll fit across here. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and select the font tool, and I'm just going to type a name in. Okay, now I'm going to go over here and I'm not going to go through details on how to do all this. You're going to have to learn some of this on your own. But anyway, I'm going to go over here to my font uh, dialog and I'm going to select a font that I like called Bookman Old Style. And when I hit apply, it'll apply that font to this name. Now with our uh, select tool or what we call our pick tool over here, we can grab this name with our left mouse button and drag it down here. Now what we have to do is we have to make it fit. All these little arrows around this name allow us to resize it. So when we click on it, we get these arrows. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to drag this bottom up until it's just above the top. And you can see our top is just already above that line, so we're good there. I'm going to grab this right side arrow. I'm going to pull it in, leaving a little space. And I'm going to pull it in, leaving a little space. And I'm going to click off. I'm going to click back on the name. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the letter. And that will select everything on the page. And I'm going to go back over to my align and distribute. And I'm going to click the center. And if you watch real close, the name will probably move just a little bit. Just barely moved over, but we got it centered inside the text. Okay, I clicked off the text again. Now what we want to do, just you could print it out just like this and cut it it wouldn't be that hard but it looks nicer if we go ahead and weld this name to the background letter too so to do that because this is text and this is an object we've got to change this text into a format that will weld to this so click on the name go up to path object path nothing happened on the screen but it changed that text to a path you can see we've still got it selected we're going to do object ungroup and if you look real close you can see that ungrouped all the letters into individual objects now we can take our left mouse button drag around everything to select it all we can do path and union and you can see now we have a pattern that we can print out and either cut on our scroll saw or on the laser uh, this particular project would be a pretty good uh, project for the laser cutter guys out there too so that's a real quick uh, overview. I know it's not very detailed, but Inkscape is one of those programs that does take a little while to learn, uh, but it's worth it for you scrollers out there who would really like to customize patterns a little bit or maybe even create your own patterns. So 
That's how you do it. Again, descriptions for everything you need are in the, or the links for everything you need are in the description below. I'm Steve Good. Catch you next time at the Scroll Saw Workshop.